I'm going to explain mindset from a neuroscience perspective and then give an overview of growth versus fixed mindset and some areas of life where we can apply this knowledge. So a mindset is really just an electrochemical firing pattern that guides our attention and our thought processes to make sense of the world. So it's a set of beliefs, it's a theory about how the world operates. And a very big part of mindset is the fact that it's predictive. It has a theory about what is true, how things operate, and then that is what guides our attention to con confirm that in a sense. It's predicting that to happen. So where we see this idea of mindset really emerge in psychology has to do with our ability, our, our belief in our ability to change, our ability to improve and develop our talents, our intelligence, as well as our personality malleability and whether we think things are completely inherent or innate within us, and also our ability and our strategies for reacting to stress. So we can have a growth mindset about those things where we believe these are things that we can develop and grow, or a fixed mindset where we think there is no way that these things can change. They're inherent, they're innate. So in terms of a mindset being an electrochemical firing pattern, the beauty of this is that as we give our brain new inputs, as we give our entire being and body new experiences, that creates new networks, it creates new firing patterns inside our brain. And as we do this, this is what can update our algorithms, our internal working models, and therefore our mindset, our beliefs about how the world operates. So a key way to do this is to expose ourselves to examples that show that people can update, evolve, change, and grow. And in particular, these those three key areas, personality features, such as being an aggressor or a victim, as one example from a lot of cyberbullying research where there's a lot of mindset interventions that have been very helpful. Um, our strategies and abilities to cope with stress. That's another area where we can update what goes into our system, what goes into these algorithms and working models by exposing ourselves to examples of people who are doing that. And then also our talents and abilities. So the more we give our brain data to work with that can create different kinds of associative networks, predictive types of algorithms, that helps us notice those things within ourselves, our own history. So examples where we have grown and evolved and adapted in those different areas of life and where we're seeing it happen in the people around us, that helps update these theories because a lot of them come from a long time ago. We get a lot of our theories about the world, cause effect types of logic models from how people talked about and dealt with problems as we were growing up. So the more we saw people believing that things weren't capable of change, that they weren't capable of change, the more we may have internalized that. So the key way to really update our mindset and to allow it to have the power it has, one way to do that is to give ourselves examples, um, inputs, of change, of evolvability, of adaptability. And we can do that by looking at our own histories and from people around us. So those are some ideas about mindset. Um, it's something that is capable of changing and evolving. It's really powerful. And I go more into that in my episode one of season four of the Mindset Neuroscience Podcast. So I hope you get a chance to check that out. And also leave uh, comments below about areas of life where you have seen your ability to evolve and change and adapt. The more we start sharing this kind of stuff, the more other people will start to see that this is possible. And this is gonna help all of us update those algorithms and those mindsets and internal working models we have.